everybody. Rose popping in. It is Friday. Um, Rose Coleman popping in on my Facebook Friday video. Every Friday around this time, I pop in and do a live video with you guys. And I love seeing who's joining me. So feel free to pop a lot, drop me a line and let me know if you're joining me. Hi, Angela. <laughs> um, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to everyone. Uh, this is my first Facebook Friday for 2019. Hi, Julie. So I'm excited. I have so much stuff that I've been dying to show you that it was really, really hard for me to decide what to do today because there's just like so much. <laughs> so yesterday was January 3rd and it's the very first day of celebration. Now, if you don't know what celebration is, it is like the most wonderful time of the year in the Stampin' Up! world. It really, truly is. It's the best time. And it lasts from January 3rd um, until the end of March. Hi, Colleen. Um, thank you all for joining me. Uh, yeah, so it's from January 3rd till the end of March, and there's a bunch of stuff that you can get for free during this time. So this is, yeah, this is the best time of the year. So I have so much to show you. I need to calm down because I can't. <laughs> I can't show you everything because I want to. I'm like a kid at Christmas. I just want to like pull everything out and show you everything. So I'm just going to focus on one product suite and kind of touch on a few others and um, contain my excitement. Okay. <laughs> Bear with me. Okay. So this catalog up until now, I could only show you the cover, but now that it's live, I can show you what's inside. This is the 2019 occasions catalog. So what that means is this catalog um, is called Occasions, so it will carry us through um, until the new big catalog comes in in uh, June. So it has um, everything for like Valentine's Day, Easter, Mother's Day, all of the stuff, the seasons that are coming up, okay? Hi, Michaela. Hi, Liz. Um, so yeah, so this one here is not to replace our big catalog because we still have the annual catalog is still current and that's where you would go to find all of our supplies like you know big shot dies punches all that stuff this one is the bible it's good for one year but this one is actually just um, a temporary catalog that's in comes in effect there's two of them there's a holiday one in the fall and then this one is in effect right now so we can purchase from both those two catalogs and when you purchase from those catalogs you get this is the celebration this is what i'm super excited about this catalog has is a brochure it's well it's not a brochure it's a catalog it's a full-fledged catalog there's like how many pages in here uh, 20 pages in this thing and it's full of all the stuff that we can get for free both demonstrators and customers anybody in the world <laughs> can get this stuff for free when you spend $60 okay so if you have a wish list I would advise you this is the time this three months where do we get the catalogs? Hope, I will send you one. If you want to private message me your address. If you live in Canada, I can send you one. Uh, physical copy of both, okay? I can mail them to you. Or you can check my online store at stampingwithrose.com and click the shopping cart and you can see all the catalogs and you can purchase online there. Um, okay, so yeah, the catalog, the celebration catalog, everything in here is free. There's no prices in this catalog because it's free when you spend $60. The other way, there's three ways that you can you can um, benefit from celebration. So as a customer, you can benefit by purchasing. When you hit $60, you get something in here for free. Also as a customer, you can host a workshop. What that means, or a party, what that means is you can book me to come to your home or you can come to my home and we get together and we make a bunch of cards. I prep everything. You just come and sit and have, um, Oh, thank you, Hope. I will send one out right out to you. Great. Great to know you're here in, here in Calgary. Um, look forward to seeing you at a class sometime soon. So you can come to a personal class that I offer, or you can host your own workshop. Gather a group of friends, have me come over. I bring all the fun stuff. You just show up and have fun, okay? So that is the other way to do this. And when your party gets to or workshop sales get to $300, you actually get an extra $30 in Stampin' Rewards on top of all the other rewards you're going to get any other time of the year. So there's benefits to shop, there's benefits to host, and the biggest benefit of all is joining, okay? So when you join Stampin' Up! during celebration, you have two options to join. This is the first year that they've done this. They've given two options. So option number one, you get to pick $225 worth of products, Stampin' Up! products, anything you want from any of the catalogs, the clearance rack, fill your shopping cart, 
um, or your starter kit with anything you want and you you pick $225 worth of product but you only pay this is the best part you only pay $135 no shipping no GST that's it no like where else can you shop with no shipping and no GST and it comes right to your door you can shop online middle of the night in your PJs whatever you want <laughs> anywhere across Canada you can purchase your very own starter kit now yesterday I was bombarded with questions about the starter kit so I wanted to clear up some things one of the common question was what is my obligation what does this mean what does the starter kit mean well there is no obligation that's the best part the starter kit is basically whatever you want, okay? So if you have a huge wish list, maybe you've been a stamper for a long time, but you're just getting back into it, you wanna get some new stuff like the blends, or you wanna buy a big shot, or you wanna buy a bunch of new punches, and you have this big wish list, the best, best deal is to buy the starter kit, okay? And it's not a starter kit for starter people, it's starting for you, okay? It's a journey for you to get a discount on all of your purchases. Now get this part. You're gonna get a discount, at least 20% off, every one of your purchases from January right up until the end of June. So it's up to you what you do with this opportunity. So you don't have to do anything. You don't have to sell or do parties or have a business. It's nothing like that unless you want it to be and that's where I would come in and I would be your coach and I would help you with that. But if you just want to build a a brand new hobby and get your stuff at a discount this is the best option that's actually how I started I started by I just wanted some stuff I wanted to scrapbook with my friends and I didn't know where to start Michaels and the big box stores didn't have what I wanted they didn't have the color coordination they didn't have the great cardstock that we have they didn't have all the colors that always match the paper and the ribbon fantastic stuff so I didn't know what to do I didn't know where to start so I bought the starter kit and then my friend said, oh, you got the starter kit. I want to book a workshop. So then I did, I was like, okay, well, I didn't plan on doing workshops, but hey, it'd be fun to get together with people. I got together with people and they loved it. The products sold themselves. So this kind of fell into my lap and it became a business for me. And 16 years later, here I am. But it doesn't have to be that way. You can start up and just enjoy your own discount and do your own thing with the hobby and do your own stamping and, and yeah like I said yeah get a discount so you get a discount plus you can be your own host for your own party and get all the stamp and rewards as a demonstrator you get every perk and one of the big perks is you can order a month early so my demonstrator team and I have been enjoying all these products for the last month because December 1st we could start to purchase this stuff and uh, we've been playing with it and had to keep some of it under wraps because we couldn't show you the inside pages of the catalog so the starter kit yeah 135 dollars you get to pick 225 dollars worth of product that's the option one option two you still get to pick 225 but you also get the stamp and tote which lines upstairs on my kitchen table because I carry it around everywhere it's a big navy blue tote I did post a picture yesterday um, and it holds a ton of stuff and you get that that in your starter kit for $175 so it's a little extra it's $40 more but you're gonna get that tote which is valued at $68 so it's a really really good deal it's the only way to get that awesome tote is to buy it in option two um, starter kit so it's up to you you can go option one or option two and get the tote so if you have any questions about that let me know because it is an amazing opportunity so that's a little bit about celebration shop host or join that's how you can get all the benefits with this and uh, some people oh yesterday another common question that came through was do I get celebration rewards if I sign up and the answer is you will get them after you sign up so if you want to take advantage of the starter kit you can do that and get your tote and get all the free product for 225 like $225 worth of product for only 135 or 175 with the tote and then when you've placed your first order that $60 order you're gonna place you're gonna get 20% off of that and then you're gonna get your free stuff okay it's from now until the end of March so I would encourage you to sign up today and then for the next three months all the stuff you're gonna purchase from your wish list you're gonna get it at a 20% discount at least it can go up to 25 and you can also uh, get volume rebate uh, there's other ways to make money and earn money back to pay off, pay off um, your starter kit and also Stampin' Rewards. So yes, you do get celebration rewards after you sign up. So 
Hi, Sandy. Hi, Hope. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. So that is, uh, in a nutshell, the two catalogs that have taken over the Stampin' Up! world right now. And we're so, all the demonstrators, customers, everybody is so, so excited about both of these things. If you live in Canada and you need a copy of these, let me know. I will get one in the mail today for you, okay? And I know some of you have requested them and they're already on their way. So just hang tight. You're going to get them from me. Um, okay, so... What are we going to play with today? I have a product bundle from the catalog, one of my favorite ones that I thought I would feature today. I'm actually going to do three cards. So if you want to grab a cup of tea or coffee, I'm actually, I don't normally do three cards, but like I told you in the beginning, I'm so excited. <laughs> I couldn't contain myself. So we're going to do three cards using the same bundle of products. And when you purchase this bundle of products, you can actually get something from this catalog for free. So I'll explain when I flip the cat the camera. But I haven't forgotten, I have to do the draw for the people that shared my video. So every Friday when I come live here, um, you can share my video by clicking right below. And that just um, shares the joy of Stampin' Up! with other more people. And that's what this is all about. It's about sharing and giving back. And that is actually one of my goals for 2019, is to serve uh, my customers and my team and to give back and to share more of what I do and what I love because it comes from the heart. I just, I can't tell you how much I love this opportunity because that's what this is. This is an opportunity and it has been an amazing opportunity for me for 16 years. So I'm over the moon excited about Stampin' Up! and what it has to offer everybody. And that is why I offer it. It's like offering a plate of cookies. Why wouldn't you, right? There's nothing to lose. There is nothing to lose. So, okay, in my little basket here, I have um, all the names of the people that shared my video. Now, don't forget if you share it, come back and type in the comments that you shared it because sometimes the Facebook settings, I don't always see the names of the people that are sharing and I want you to be in the draw if you shared it like Sandy just did. Thank you, Sandy. <laughs> okay, let's see. What are we drawing for? I have two prizes. I always do two prizes. Hi, Pam. Thank you. I have these little buttons, little galvanized buttons that were in the previous catalog. I also have a package of the snowflake trinkets that were in the previous catalog. Those were yummy little things to put on your cards, little embellishments. So I have two of those. So let's do the draw. First we'll do for the snowflakes. All right, let's see who the winner is here. We have Colleen. Colleen Winter has won the snowflakes. I will stick your name on those, Colleen, and get them to you. And for the galvanized buttons, we have Carissa. Carissa, yay, Carissa. <laughs> Hi, Tanya, thank you. Thanks for joining me. Let me know where you're joining me from. I love to see where you guys are joining me from. And okay, so there's my bucket. I'm gonna put that aside and I will put your names in there at the end of the video when you share. And you can share all week long. It's not just today. You, you can share it um, whenever you want, okay? Okay, so let's get started. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I have a, a fun bundle to show you. So let's flip camera and just bear with me while I straighten this up. Now this is my, my um, website up here, stampingwithrose.com. This red, these red digits that you see here is, this is called a hostess code. Now what that means is if you place an order on my online store, you go here and you click on the little shopping cart you place an order at the very end of placing your order you're going to see a little box that says hostess code now if you if or host code if you put that code in that just means i'm going to get a nice little email um, that tells me that you placed an order with me and i can send you a thank you gift so every friday when i come live like this um all the projects that i make i send you all of the pieces i can't send you stamped images but i can send you all the cut pieces so that you can make your very own um, cards that I'm gonna show you today. Okay, hi Carrie, snowy in, oh, Tanya says it's snowy in Edmonton. Oh, well, it's not snowing here, but we have a ton of wind here, Tanya. We're gonna blow away, <laughs> but it's a Chinook, so it's kind of nice. Um, okay, so let's get started. Let's talk about this awesome, awesome catalog. I am going to flip right to the page that I'm gonna show you today, because. I don't want to take any time to actually go through all of the pages because I'm sure you just want to see me stamping, right? You want to see what I'm going to make. 
Um, you can look through the, the catalog at your own leisure when you get yours in your hot, hot little hands. <laughs> and look, um, these are all the pages that I could not show you for the past month, and now I can. So the suite I'm going to play with today is called Gingham Gala, okay? And it is on page 34 of the catalog, and look at those beautiful, beautiful butterflies. They're ready to just fly off the, the pages there. Um, so, no, Pam, no. It is absolutely not comparable to the wind in Newfoundland. Hands down, you guys get way worse wind than we get here. <laughs> and I know it's cold there. I just talked to my dad this morning. Oh. I hope it warms up for you guys and you don't have a terrible winter. I hope this is not the beginning of a treacherous winter for you guys. Okay, so what am I going to play with? I have in my hands here the catalog and it shows Butterfly Gala, this stamp set here. And when you're looking at a catalog and the, the, the images are outlined or shaded like this, this means that there's a punch or something or a die that will cut them out. And we do have this fantastic uh, punch that is called Butterfly Duet Punch because there's two butterflies, right? So it coordinates with this stamp set. Beauty of Stampin' Up! products, they always coordinate together. So when you stamp these, and you'll see in a second when I start stamping, that they will punch out with this punch. And it, when you buy them together, the punch and the stamp set together, you always save you save 10%, okay? When Stampin' Up! first introduces a new product, this is what they do, they bundle it, bundle the products, and you get 10% off. So you can get both of them for $45.75. Now, on this page, there's also this package of 6x6 six six Gingham Gala Designer Series paper. Now, it costs $15 for the whole package, and you're gonna get 40 sheets in the package, okay? So if you add that up, the Gingham Gala and the bundle, you're gonna be right at that $60 mark, perfect mark, that's where you need to be to get something from this catalog for absolutely free, okay? So I'm gonna show you how you can do that today um, using these fun products. I'm gonna make three cards, and keep in mind, if you go to my store and you place the order, I'm gonna send you the stuff to make these cards, okay? And then when you, if you do order the, the uh, Butterfly Gala stamp set and the punch, you'll be ready to go to make your own cards. Okay, so let's get started. I have for you, first thing I want to show you is, so I am doing playing with this bundle, but I'm also going to be playing with one of the products from, or a couple of products from the Celebration catalog. So let me just quickly show you the Celebration. There's... Like I said, there, you, there's no prices in here. Everything is free when you spend $60. Here's the pages that talk about the options for joining. There's that magnificent tote that I carry around everywhere with me. I keep everything in there. My purse, my journal, my catalogs, everything. So you'll see me, if you see me out and about in Calgary, you'll see that on my arm, <laughs> on my shoulder. Um, and yeah, I do love that it has a shoulder strap as well as an arm strap. So I love, love, love that bag. Um, we have stamps, we have a package of ribbon. This is all free with $60 purchase. The Organdy ribbon combo pack. You actually get five yards, five spools with five yards in each one. And I have them here. They are gorgeous, gorgeous ribbons. I'm gonna play with those a little bit today. Um, the other things, there's these uh, butterfly elements. They're like wooden elements. Those are for free. This is what I'm going to show you up close today, the Botanical Butterfly Designer Series paper that Stampin' Up! has done their homework. They have actually made this so it coordinates so, so beautifully with the products I'm going to show you today. That's something you can get for free with a $60 purchase. Um, we have Buy the Bay stamp set, another one up here, Home to Roost. And I have lots and lots of cards that I'm going to be showing you in the upcoming weeks with all of these products. So stay tuned. Um, we have some brand new um, foil sheets, Grapefruit Grove and Lovely Lipstick, and you get four of each in the package. You can choose that as your free option. We have another really fun stamp set called So Hoppy Together. That's one that you can choose as a, as a free option. Um, another stamp set called Part of My Story. Love this stamp set. You have some really close friends. I have some really close friends that I'm going to be using this stamp for. You are my chosen family. Like, isn't that awesome? Like, you might have some really, really close friends that you consider like family. That would be an awesome stamp to use with them. Look at this one. This lovely lattice is beautiful, beautiful stamp. 
Um, okay, so then the next page, we even have a card kit. So this is called Precious Parcel, and it comes with all of the supplies to make these cards, eight pocket cards with the inserts for each of the two designs. So beautiful, all ready to go, eight very easy cards. Then we have, um, for $120, we do have a choice, uh, Stampin' Up! has a choice this time for these uh, Tea Time Framelits. So they coordinate with a, with a stamp set in the Occasions catalog called Tea Time Tea Together stamp set on page 49. So buy the stamp set and then you can qualify and then maybe add on some cardstock and embellishments, maybe some new ink, whatever you need. And when you get to 120, you can get these dies for free, okay? So gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. This is another one that, there's two options for $120. This stamp set here is called Lasting Lily. This is one of um, the distinctive, if you see at the bottom it says distinctive. So Stampin' Up! has this new product called Distinctive Stamps. They look like normal stamps, but look at the detail. You can see this is actually how it stamps, just like you see it here on the paper. All of those details will come out in the stamp when you stamp it one time on a single um, ink pad. It's unbelievable. You can see down here the, these stamped cards. Gorgeous, gorgeous. That's Lasting Lily. So, um, so many options for free products for the next three months, okay? Three months. <laughs> it's um, very, very exciting times. Okay, so let's play with the Butterfly Gala. The first thing, actually I'm going to bring in the paper first, the designer series paper from the um, celebration. Now it's called Botanical Butterfly. And I'm just gonna grab, I have them all lined up here on my table. Um, I'm gonna show you the patterns. This pattern here is one of my favorites and this is all I have left. <laughs> like I said, I've been playing with this stuff for a month and this is all I have left of this piece. So obviously I need to place another $60 order so I can get another package for free. <laughs> so look at this beautiful pattern and it has gorgeous butterflies. And then on the other side, it has this beautiful black uh, gingham. Um, then we have this one, really nice background. And I'm actually gonna show you the colored sides and then I'll flip the paper over and show you the other sides because there's some really fun stuff on the other side. And we've got this one and they have done their homework. They really have because all of these butterflies coordinate with this punch and you can punch them out, okay? I'm gonna show you that a little bit closer in a second. Um, this pattern here, same thing, this small butterfly coordinates with the small butterfly at the top of the punch. So you can punch these all out as well. And then look at this one. This is the color coordination is our Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape. Love this one. Um, and then we have this pattern too with all the butterflies in amongst all of the foliage. Love that. So let's flip these over and show you the other side, which I think I'm actually even more excited about the other side versus the colored side. So I showed you the opposite side of these butterflies is this black pattern. And then we have these gorgeous black butterflies, which you could add a bit of color to, right? And they do coordinate with the punch as well, like this. All right, so there's that pattern that we have stripes, diagonal stripes. And look at this one, love this, love, love, love this one. And of course you would not color the whole page, right? You would just accent certain parts of it. And this is gorgeous. And so you get two sheets of every pattern. Look at this black pattern with the little small butterflies. And they punch out with the punch as well. So if you really like black and white, this is your paper. And then we have polka dots, okay? Classic black and white polka dots. So that's the paper, the butterfly, the botanical butterfly designer series paper from the celebration catalog that you can get for free. Okay, and let's so let's make some cards with this one. So the first card I'm going to make is going to be using a basic black card base. So it's four and a quarter by five and a half. Okay, scored in the middle. And then I have a uh, piece of Whisper White that measures four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm just gonna, I'm not actually even gonna stamp on that. I'm just going to put my embellishments on there. So what I mean by that is I'm gonna bring in these doilies. I think I've played with these on Facebook Live before. Um, they're called 
uh, pearlized. And I'm not sure if you can tell by the camera, but one side has this pearlized, like a, almost like a mother, mother of pearl sheen on it. And the other side is completely white flat, so you could actually sponge or bray or color on that side. So I'm gonna use the pearlized side, and I wanna put this down in the bottom right-hand corner of my card. So I can do it two ways. I can add some snail. Sorry, I just got a little piece of something on my card there. I'm just gonna pull that off. Piece of fur or something. Okay, so I'm gonna put this, wow, where's that coming from? Okay, so I'm just gonna put this pearlized doily right down there, flat onto my Whisper White. And your daughter loves the butterfly paper. Yeah, it is gorgeous, isn't it? And I'm so excited that we get to play with it for three whole months. <laughs> okay, so one of my pat my favorite patterns, like I was mentioning, because I'm almost out of it, is this pattern. So what I wanna do now is I'm gonna bring in um, the two and a quarter inch punch. That's our biggest circle punch. I'm gonna bring that in, and I'm just gonna line it up like so. I'm just gonna, it doesn't really matter, I just wanna get a, a piece of the pattern. So I want one like that, and I'm gonna have one like that. So I just want two circles of that, and then I'm gonna bring in a piece of scrap paper, scrap whisper white, and the greeting that I'm gonna use from this stamp set is this one. The good things in life are better with you. Can't you think of a, a bunch of people you could send that one to? I love that, love it. So I've got it mounted onto my block here and I'm gonna use Memento ink. Love Memento. Cleans off the photopolymer and the red rubber too. Um, so nicely, there we go. Got that piece, and I'm gonna bring back my two and a quarter inch circle punch. I'm gonna pop that out. Don't you just love punches? Love the ease of punches. They make life so easy. So I've got my greeting. I'm just gonna get rid of my ink pad here for a second. And I'm gonna put that down with dimensionals on top of that pearlized doily. So I'm gonna use three dimensionals on the back of my circle. Sorry if you hear some thumping. <laughs> my daughter is still home from school and she has her friend over and she also has, we also have my sister's dog here. My little fur niece is upstairs. So they're upstairs right above me playing, so you might hear them. Okay, so I've mounted that with dimensionals on top of the pearlized doily. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna bring in this pattern and I'm, everything, I love dimensionals, so everything is gonna go on dimensionals today. So, well not everything, but these circles are. So I'm gonna put, this pattern on dimensionals and <laughs> thanks hope and I'm gonna put this circle right here okay and then this one with the butterflies same thing gonna put three dimensionals on the back now this is the same pat the same piece of designer series paper but when you use both sides, you can see how everything just coordinates so beautifully. You don't need, like Stampin' Up! takes the guesswork out. You don't have to worry about what goes with what because it's all it all goes together, right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this down onto my card face. I'm gonna use adhesive, my snail adhesive. And then I'm gonna put this right on the front of my card. But I'm not done yet even though that's pretty like it is, I need to do some stamping with those butterflies. So the Butterfly Gala has a bunch of different butterfly patterns. There's one, two, three, four outlines, and then there's the backgrounds, okay? So what I wanna do first is I'm just gonna lay my card off to the side for a second and bring in some scrap Whisper White. I know I've got lots of Whisper White around here. Here we go. Okay, so what I wanna do first is stamp, what I like to do is stamp the outline. Okay, so I've got this outline mounted on my block. I'm gonna ink that up with um, a memento, nice and juicy. I'm gonna stamp it right here on my card, on my card stock. And then what I'm gonna do is I have the pieces, these solid pieces mounted, okay? So I'm gonna bring in Balmy Blue 
So Balmy Blue is the color that was listed in the colors for this designer series paper. So that's this blue. See how everything coordinates? Don't you just love it? I love it. Takes, like I said, all the workout. Stampin' Up! just takes all the workout, and the only thing left is fun. <laughs> so I've got these leaves here, and I'm gonna stamp the, not, not leaves, they're not leaves, Rose, they're wings, sorry, these wings, <laughs> the wings, the top wings. Okay, I'm gonna stamp that right over top. See how easy that was with photopolymer? You can see exactly where you're stamping. And then I'm gonna stamp the bottom wings, this stamp at the bottom, like that. And the next one is this solid little guy. I'm gonna stamp him in balmy blue too. And sorry if my head's in the camera. Just gotta get down here a little bit lower so I can see. There we go. Okay, so we got all that done. The other thing that they've given us in this stamp set are these little, they look like sticks, but what they are is they are the body of the little butterflies. So I have a big guy and a little guy. So I'm just gonna ink up the big one and stamp that right there. And the little guy, he has a body too. I'm gonna stamp that, oops. There, like that. So there's my two butterflies all stamped, but I'm not done yet. Like, it's nice to have the blue, but I wanted to add a little bit of um, the purpley color. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in um, one of my blends. This is the Light Highland Heather, and I'm just gonna color a little bit of the wings. Whoops, that's my ceiling. You don't wanna see my ceiling. <laughs> Bear with me while I flip you around here. There, that's what I wanted to do. Just zoom you in a little bit. Okay, so what I wanna do is I'm using my blends and I'm just gonna go over uh, just, you know, some sections of the wings just to add some color. Cause you, know, you hardly ever see a butterfly that's like solid, right? They're usually tons and tons of different colors in them. So I'm just gonna add a little accent color to my butterfly. And I might as well do it with the baby one too. There we go, so just a little bit of a purple. So we've got the purple and blue going on. And then I'm gonna bring my punch back in and watch this, this is the beauty. This is it right here. Look how nicely that lines up. And I'm gonna punch both of those out at the same time. And I've got two gorgeous little butterflies to go on my card. Just gonna fold them a little bit, bend them. And, whoops, you don't need to go closer, there we go. So there's my um, two little butterflies. Where is my glue dots? Okay, love, love, love glue dots. Glue dots are my friend, I always say that. So I take my butterfly, I'm just gonna stick it onto the glue dot, press it down. When I lift it up, it's on the back. Then I can come in here and stick my little butterfly down right there. I'm gonna put the big one there. See, when you use glue dots, they stick really, really well. You don't have to worry that they're gonna fall off your card. They're there for good. I don't know, unless someone ripped them off or, you know. But they're really, really solid. So I'm gonna do that with the baby one too. Use a glue dot, picking that up, and I'm gonna put the baby one down here. And then, like that. It's not quite done yet. It's gotta do a couple of embellishments, right? Can't have a card without bling. So I'm gonna bring in my rhinestones. I'm just gonna grab my rhinestones. I just wanna show you how I store my rhinestones. So these clear cases that Stampin' Up! sells, I use them for everything, everything, everything. So this is where I keep my rhinestones. I'm just gonna see if I have another package that are that is open here. Yes, here we go. Might as well use up the ones that are open before I open a new pack. Okay. So I'm gonna grab my rhinestones and I'm just gonna add some to the middle of my butterflies. So the baby one, I'll put a couple on him or her <laughs> and flip that around. So I always use paper piercer or where's my take your pick tool? That's what I should be using. Take your pick tool, use that all the time. I forgot that I'd put it in my drawer just before Christmas, but I usually have it on my desk all the time because I use it for everything. Okay, 
Let's see, one, two, I think I need four for the big guy. Oh, no, I think three will be good. Three is good. Okay, so there's my first card. What do you guys think? That's my first card using the Butterfly Gala with the stamps, the punch, and these awesome, awesome, you can see the pearls there, the pearless coming through from those pearlized doilies. Thanks, Amanda. Okay, so that's my first card featuring the paper that you can get for free. Um, my second card, what are we gonna do? Okay, I've got a gorgeous grape card base, okay? So this is gorgeous grape, love, love, love this new purple color. Do you guys love this? This is a brand new color that came out when we had the color renovation um, back in June with the new catalog, and it is fantastic. I'm in love, whoops, I'm in love with this color. Now, I wanna show you something. My friend Kylie Bertucci from Australia, Okay, so she has on Facebook, there is a group and it's called Love It, Chop It, okay? If you haven't checked that out, you should go check it out. She did a workshop, I think it was back in the spring. It's called Love It, Chop It. And basically the idea of the workshop is that we all, probably you can relate, have tons and tons and tons of pattern paper. And we're hoarding it. We're hoarding it, we're holding on to it, and we don't wanna cut it because it's so beautiful, right? Like, why would we cut it? Oh my goodness, I can't cut it. But guess what? I'm here to tell you that you can get more. You can cut it, and you can use it, and send it, and send a beautiful card, and make a scrapbook page, and use, use, use your stuff, because you share that stuff. No one's enjoying it if it's sitting on a shelf in a closet somewhere. So get it out, cut it, and use it, and share, the like, send a card. Send a card today, and share what you're doing, okay? Um, okay, so what I want to talk to you about is love it, chop it. So her idea is to take your paper and just cut it. Just cut it. Have it ready to go. And you will probably make more cards if you have cards, uh, paper ready to go. So how would you do that? The best effective way to use a piece of designer series paper is to grab your paper cutter. We're going to do play with this piece, okay? So take your paper cutter and cut it into six pieces that you can use on a card front, okay? So I want my pattern to go this way, up and down, right? So I'm gonna turn my paper, put it into my paper cutter. I'm gonna cut it at five and a quarter, twice, okay? Because I can, because I got enough. So I'm gonna turn that, or slide it in at five and a quarter inches. I'm gonna be left with this beautiful little strip. Okay, so five and a quarter, and the other Measurement is four inches, okay? So I've got 12 inches to work with, so guess what? I'm gonna get three exact pieces out of this piece of 12 by 12, or 12 by five and a quarter piece. So there's my first three. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut my other ones, okay? I'm cutting it at four inches. One piece of paper, folks, one piece of paper, and I've got six card fronts right? Six card fronts ready to go to put onto a card front. And I've also got a strip left over that I could use to like, you know, on the inside of your card, you could cut yourself some little pieces and stick at the bottom so it matches the front, right? You guys do that. Or you could decorate your envelope with this little piece, but this little piece is all that you're going to have left over. So, you know, hardly any wastage. So look at this. I've got five cards ready to go. And I'm gonna use this one now to show you guys how I'm gonna make my card. So I've got a card base. So my card measures, like I always say, it's four and a quarter by five and a half, right? So this is my card front. Look at that, it's four inches by five and a quarter. So I have a nice border that goes all the way around of that gorgeous grape, okay? So not ready to stick it down yet. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring in a my punch, another punch. And this time I'm going to use the one and three quarter inch punch. I'm going to take the punch and I'm going to put pull it into my card. I want it to be down in this area of my card, okay? So I'm going to come in from the side here and I want it to have a little bit of the butterfly, not too close to the edge because I don't want it to chomp. I want a little bit of an edge. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to position my punch. Hmm about right there. Yeah, I know, I don't have a complete butterfly, but I'm okay with that. 
and I'll show you why in a second. So I'm just gonna punch that out. All right, now I'm gonna put that aside and I'm gonna color this circle, okay, with my blends. So let's see if I can zoom you in. All right, so this is all I'm gonna color is this piece. So I've got my blends all out on my desk here. I pulled out some colors. I have, we don't, I don't have gorgeous grape yet. Can anyone from Stampin' Up tell me if you're, if you're watching me, if there's a demonstrator watching me, do we have gorgeous grape? I don't think we do, but we have Highland Heather. So I'm gonna use some Highland Heather and I'm gonna color. Let's make sure I'm in the screen here. Okay, so um, for my butterfly, I do wanna use the Highland Heather on the wings. So I'm just gonna color, this is, um, what am I using? This is the dark, okay. So the dark, I wanna use more towards the edge of those wings as a highlight. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring in my light Highland Heather. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do all of the, um, the rest of the wing with the light. And I'm being very careful to go over the border of where I did with the dark. So I, I tried to do the dark on the outside and you can always go back with blends. Oh, they're so forgiving. You can go back and add more color if you want. And I, I never ever color without having my color lifter close by. So this is called a color lifter. Now see the portion of the wing up here. Now I wanted it to be a little bit lighter. So what I'm gonna do is take the color lifter and just gently, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm just gonna take some of the color away because I wanna have a dark border and I wanna have it light on the other parts of my wing. So it did, it actually took some of the color away. Love the color lifter, love it. Um, so that's that part of the wing. Now I'm gonna bring in uh, some Calypso and I'm gonna accent because you know how the butterflies always have different colors. I'm gonna put some of that on there. And now I've got some floral stuff happening here. So I wanna color that stuff. Um, I've got, what do I have out here? Daffodil Delight. Let's do some Daffodil Delight on these flowers quickly here on the petals. Um, I'll do all of these here, Daffodil Delight. And what else do we have? Oh, there's one over here. Um, have some dark, of course we always have a dark and a light, so I can accent with a little bit of a dark um, blend like that. And I might as well do some accenting. So you can do dark first if you want to, if you're doing like, so this flower up here at the top so I'm gonna add some dark highlights along the edges of the flower. And then I bring back my light Daffodil Delight and I'm gonna go over that edge because I want to get rid of the stark line. So when you, when you color, or when I color with felt markers, just regular felt markers, you can always see the line of where I went over my coloring. But with the blends, you don't get that because you just blend. The alcohol in the markers makes it to be like a medium that you can actually blend, okay? So that's why they recommend that you make uh, do smaller sections of blending at a time. So you don't like color, 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 like, you know, in big, big strokes because, simply because the alcohol will evaporate so quickly that you'll lose that blending capability, if that makes any sense. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but um, when you try it, try doing both. Try doing a large section, and then try doing a small section and see what works for you better. And that's what I did, and I found smaller sections worked way better than you know doing a big section. Um, just adding some green foliage here. And I'm, I didn't have, I don't have a brown yet. I don't have all the colors yet. So I'm using bronze for the centers of my flowers. They kind of reminded me, one part of this pattern on the paper reminded me of Black Eyed Susans. I love, love, love Black Eyed Susans in the summertime and sunflowers. So these could be either Black Eyed Susans or sunflowers. Okay, so I'm happy with that. 
that's my coloring. So now, how am I gonna put this card together? So what I wanna do, this is punched out with one and three quarter inches. I wanna border that with um, two inches is the next size in our circle punch series. So I'm gonna grab my two inch punch and a piece of uh, basic black scrap. Just want one of those. And I'm gonna bring in my snail. I'm just gonna mount that onto I should note, do you see the back of my, so this is my colored piece. Just take a look at the back. See all the blends? They go through, they bleed through the back. So if you're coloring and see this, these stains on my scrap paper, if you were to do that on a wooden table, that would not come out. So you definitely, when you're using the blends, make sure you have something underneath, like paper towel or something to protect your work surface because it can really damage. The alcohol ink is, it's, great but not for your wooden table your kitchen table okay so there's my little highlight piece I'm gonna bring back my card now and I'm gonna go ahead and stick this designer series paper down I'll back up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing so this is my gorgeous grape cardstock base I don't need my blends anymore so I'll get those out of the way I'm gonna put down my designer series paper like this, making sure to leave, you know, about a quarter inch border all the way around, like that. And then this piece now becomes my highlight, okay? This is called, this technique is called spotlighting. So what I wanna do is grab my dimensionals. Where did I put them? They are close by, I just had them, here they are. Okay, so I wanna grab some dimensionals, and I like to put three on my circles pull off the little wax backing and I'm gonna so you can see where I chopped this out right so here's the butterfly so I want to position this back in so I want to line up the edge of this wing with the edge of the wing on my highlight piece so I'm coming in like this and the black around here it just serves as a focal like it focuses the eye on this spotlight piece so it shows you that you don't have to um, color the whole piece, right? Just We're just spotlighting a portion of this big piece of paper. But we do need to add some other things to finish this card off. Um, one of the stamps in the in this set down here is called Hello Beautiful. Can't you think of somebody that you'd like to send a card to that just says, Hello Beautiful, like, I was thinking about you, right? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stamp Hello Beautiful on some scrap white cardstock using memento ink. Look how it cleans off. I've stamped this about a dozen times now. It's so clean. Memento is my friend. I love memento ink. Stamp that on there. And for this one, I'm gonna use the one and a half inch circle punch. It just fits, see that? Just fits. Pop that out. Now this one, I'm not gonna put on a dimensional. I'm just gonna have it flat. So I'm just gonna put some snail on here. And I'm gonna tuck that in just ever so slightly behind that circle. So I want it to be my greeting, but I kinda want it to look like it belongs in the background with the black and white that we've got going on. The other thing I wanna do is this beautiful, beautiful organdy ribbon that you can choose as your one of your items for when you spend $60 has the five colors, it has gorgeous grape. So of course, look how it matches, right? Gorgeous grape. So I gotta, whoops, sorry, bumping the camera here. So I'm gonna pull in some of that and I have a strip of black cardstock somewhere. And it might have fallen on the floor, but that's okay. I can always cut another piece and I'll find it when I go on off camera. That's how it works, right? <laughs> okay, so what I have is I'm gonna use the, the organdy ribbon, but I need a piece of cardstock that measures half an inch. I'll just trim another one. I've got a piece of scrap here. I'm gonna put this into my paper cutter. Did you guys know there's increments on this side of the paper cutter that make it super easy? So I'm just gonna line that up with the half inch mark. Cut, and then turn it. And I need it to be the same as my DSP designer series paper. I need it to be the same as that. So it's five and a quarter inches. Boom, there's my piece. 
there's my piece that I lost and I will find when you guys go away. <laughs> when I say goodbye. <laughs> That's always how it works. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of snail to the ends. I'm going to bring in this organdy ribbon. And I just want it to sit right on top of this piece of black cardstock, just so it's highlighted. So I'm going to flip this over. I'm just going to lay it down at the back, bring it around the front. And I find I feel like it pops more on the black cardstock than if I were to just stick it onto my designer series paper. What do you guys think? I'm just going with it here. <laughs> um, I love, love, love this ribbon. I'm going to be using lots of this over the next little while for sure. Okay, so there's my little strip. Um, to add this to my card, I can go ahead and add more adhesive here in the middle. But I do know that ribbon needs something really strong to stick down. So I'm going to just bring in my glue dots and grab a couple to go on either end so that I don't have it falling off my card. So I put one glue dot there and one here. Thank you. Hi, Colleen. Thanks. Okay, so I'm just going to bring this in and I'm going to use this as a little border on my card. Just like that. Now, you know that I love faux bows. You could do a faux bow on here. You could tuck, because I didn't, there's no adhesive it, like sticking this down in the front. So you could tuck a little piece in here and tie a bow if you wanted to. Um, or you could leave it straight. And you know what, I think I need a bow. I'm a faux bow fan. So I'm gonna cut myself another piece of ribbon like this. And I'm gonna come in underneath here. And I'm just gonna tie a simple, simple knot. Like that. And the beauty of the faux bow is, okay, I have to trim it, of course, but is once you tie it, you can slide it. So it's like, do you want it here or do you want it down here? No, I want it up at the top, so I move it back. So it gives you lots of um, options when you're designing your card to change things. So I'm just going to trim this a little bit shorter. And one more thing. Thanks for bearing with me, but I told you when I started that I'm having so much fun that I just did not know where to stop with all this stuff, right? So Facebook Friday is going to be interesting the next little while. I got lots to show you guys. Okay, still not done. We need bling, right? So where am I going to add bling? I do have a little bit of the spine over here on the butterfly, so that's where I'm going to put my bling. But what I'm doing is I'm bringing in my blend, my Highland Heather blend. I'm going to color some of those rhinestones. Um, I'm going to color them so that they match the color scheme of my card because that's the beauty of blends. If I were to do this with a regular marker, you it would just wipe right off as soon as I touched it. But because it's the alcohol markers, it will stay this gorgeous grape color. It's Highland Heather, but you know what? It's close enough to gorgeous grape. I'm going with it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put three of those onto my butterfly body. Just like that. I think it just accents him a little bit more. Just highlights the butterfly. What do you guys think? That's my second card. Thank you. Okay, so we got two cards. Want to see the third one? All right. So remember this one. This is Love It, Chop It, okay? Use the full background. And, you know, I still have enough to make five more cards out of one sheet of, card of designer series paper. Um, there's the other one that I made earlier. So it was a little bit of a different uh, pattern because the patterns are all different, right, on the paper. It changes. So this is the one I did just now. And I did this one earlier, and there's my little black-eyed Susans. So depending on what part of the paper you, you punch out, you get a different look. All right, okay, my third card is a smaller card and it's gonna be using Grapefruit Grove as a card base and it measures. So I took my cardstock and I put it into my paper cutter and I cut it at four and a quarter. I got two, right? Four and a quarter by eight and a half and then I scored it in the middle. So this is a four and a quarter inch square. Okay, four and a quarter all the way around. So kind of a cute little card. And this is our Grapefruit Grove color. So I have that four, four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So my mat for the front of the card is gonna be four by four. Okay, so I have a piece of Whisper White that measures four by four. The other thing 
that I have somewhere is this is a piece of the designer series paper that measures just one inch by four inch, just a tiny little piece, but it's pretty. So I don't need a ton, right? Sometimes just a little bit is all you need. I'm gonna mount that on the side of my whisper white like that. And I've got a little bit sticking out there. You see that edge? That's okay. I can trim it off. If it's not perfect, you can make it perfect, right? This is paper crafting. Paper crafting is no stress. Never stress. What did they say? Mistakes in paper crafting are opportunities to embellish. And I didn't chop enough off. All right, let's take another hair off of there so we don't see that white edge. Did that work? Yeah, that's good. Okay, so there's my front. Now I need a greeting. This one, the stamp set has, um, thank you so very much. I wanna use that one because I can always use thank you cards. So I have that mounted right here and I'm gonna use of course, Memento. I'm gonna ink that up and I'm gonna stamp it down in the bottom here. Like this, straight down and straight up. Thank you so very much. And now what I wanna show you is, um, actually I'll finish this part and then I'll show you the next thing. Okay. Um, in that organdy ribbon, there's Calypso Coral. Not Calypso Coral, I'm sorry. Um, grapefruit Grove, the same as my cardstock doll. Okay, Grapefruit Grove. Okay, so I want to add a piece of this to my card. So I'm going to do this here too. I'm going to do it the same way I did the other one. So I want it to sit. I just put some adhesive on the back. So I want it to sit right at the edge of where my um, designer series paper is. So I'm just going to lay it down on the front and then wrap it around the back. Just like that. And I think it's fine just as a nice little stripe. I don't think I need a bow for that ribbon. I'm just gonna leave it like that. And I'm gonna bring back my snail and add more adhesive here. And I bring back my card and I'm gonna stick this on the card front. Just like that. Okay, so now I've got a card with a greeting. Now, great, so what's next? Now what I want to do is I'm going to stamp, not stamp, punch. I'm going to punch some butterflies to embellish my card. So remember I was showing you this pattern and I was telling you how the punch can punch these butterflies out. So I want to show you a little technique. So they're all going in random directions here. So what I want to do is, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to pick the ones I want. If you can tell from this paper, it's like Daffodil Delight background up here, goes a little bit lighter, goes a little bit, changes color to the Grapefruit Grove, and then we've got darker Grapefruit Grove down here. Because my card base is Grapefruit Grove, I kind of want to stay down in this area of my paper because there's a lot more Grapefruit Grove going on. And my background, there will be like a smidge around each butterfly. So I want to stick to these, but my punch, it will punch these out, but they're all going in different directions. And I don't wanna waste my paper. So this is my little tip for you guys. So pick your butterflies you wanna use. So let me see. I think I want this blue guy, this one, and I want this one. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna like really loosely cut out these ones that I want, like this. And now I know you're probably thinking, well, you're still cutting, why aren't you using the punch? But I am gonna use the punch because if I were to try and cut around all those you know, wings, that would be a pain, right? But the punch is gonna take care of that. So now I've got my paper to a size that I can actually take it and slip it into my punch, right? And not quite, I can still trim it a bit more. It has to be, Let's just do this. Okay, that looks hideous, doesn't it? But the punch is gonna save me. But how are you gonna get that in the punch? It's so small, right? You're saying you're gonna get stuck in there, Rose. You need to get that in the punch easily. So do you have a scrap bin? I'm gonna show you my scrap bin. 
This is my scrap bin. This is where I keep all my scrap Whisper White cardstock. So I'm just gonna look in here and I'm gonna pick out this piece, a long skinny piece. And I call this my fishing pole, okay? <laughs> my Stampin' Up! fishing pole. So I'm gonna use this as a little rod and I'm gonna put some adhesive on the end and I'm gonna stick that on the end of my rod. And I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna line that up just like that, make sure it's perfect. And then I'm gonna pop that out, okay? So there's my butterfly and there's my rod. Now, all I gotta do now, trim that off and I can use my little fishing rod for another one, which I want for this guy. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna grab that guy, add a little snail, put my fishing rod on, I'm gonna Come down here, I'm gonna line that up. And once I'm happy with where it is, give it a punch. So there I've got two beautiful butterflies ready for my card, right? And I'm gonna stick those on now. So what am I gonna use? I'm gonna use my blue dots, right? Which are here somewhere. You should see my desk, holy moly. There's stuff everywhere. <laughs> but that's how it is when you craft, right? To clean up later. Have fun now, clean up later, right? Okay, so I wanna put one of these up here and I'm gonna put one down the bottom. Like so. And I've got my two butterflies on my card. There we go. And you can bling this guy up too if you wanted to. I think I'm just gonna leave them because I wanna show you one more thing. Do you guys have time for one more thing? So we got three cards, but this one is a square, okay? And we don't sell square envelopes that would fit this kind of card, but we have a tool that we can use to make a, an envelope. So this designer series paper is so beautiful. Um, I'm gonna bring in my envelope punch board and make a really super quick envelope for this card, okay? So I'm gonna show you that because I haven't had this out for a while. So I thought I would bring it out, show you how easy it is in case you guys have one at home and you haven't used it for a while, pull it out, okay? So remember my card. Okay, so my card is four, four and a quarter by four and a quarter. How do you make an envelope for that? Well, the envelope punch board tells you right here, you look at your card size, okay? And you go down through and you look. So what did I say mine was? Mine was four and a quarter. So I wanna make it a little bit bigger. So there's a, a measurement right here for four and a half by four and a half. So it tells me in this column, paper size. So I'm gonna go over here, what does it say? Four and a half, four and a half. It's, I need to cut my paper seven and a half by seven and a half. And then it tells me my score line is at three and three quarters. Do you guys see that? Score line. So that is the only number I need to remember is three and three quarters. Well, seven and a half, cut my paper. All right, are you guys still with me? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna pull, put my paper in and I'm gonna cut it at seven and a half by seven and a half. Okay, seven and a half. Got a nice piece left. Not, not to worry, still got lots left. <laughs> by seven and a half. So I still have these two pieces to use on cards later. And now I'm just gonna work with this square, okay? So it measures seven and a half by seven and a half. I'm gonna bring back my envelope punch board. And remember the number I said that I needed to remember is three and three quarters. So now I'm gonna pull out my little bone folder that sits in there. You only need to remember that number once, okay? Just once, three and three quarters. So I'm gonna put this in up flush with the, the top and I'm gonna line it up over here at three and three quarters. I only need to remember it once. I love instructions like this, right? So three and three quarters, punch and score. So I'm gonna take my scoring tool, I'm gonna line, line it up right here. There's a track here that I'm gonna score on. Now I, don't, now I can put all the numbers out of my head. I don't need to remember anything because I'm gonna lift up this paper and I'm gonna rotate it. And that score line that I just made, you, I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna line it up with this little foot. Okay, this little foot, I call it a foot. It's not a foot, but it's a little thing that sticks out, a little appendage. <laughs> so I'm gonna now 
Where is that? Okay, I'm just gonna fold it so I can see it. All right, so now I'm gonna punch and score. Rotate, punch, and score. Rotate, punch, and score. So I've got all four sides done. So it looks like this. Now it's a square, so I can pick two corners. I'm gonna pick this corner and this corner. And I'm gonna round the corners, okay? That's a little corner rounder thing at the top there. So I'm done with the envelope punch board. Actually, I wanna use my, my bone folder for a second. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna reinforce those lines I just made, like that. Isn't this beautiful? I just love this paper. So I'm making an envelope. Now it can have, you can do the polka dots on the outside, but I want the beautiful butterflies to be on the outside and my rounded corners, one at the top, one at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is fold in the sides. Where is my snail? Okay, I'm gonna put snail there just to hold it in place. Then I'm gonna put some snail down here, down here, come up from the bottom and close my envelope. Now I have an envelope for my card. See that? Slide that in, close it up, add a little adhesive, you can use an address label, put a stamp on there, and send that in the mail. And I can guarantee you, someone gets this in their mailbox, they're gonna open it before they open their bills, for sure, right? <laughs> so, these are my three projects for today. I'm gonna to bring them back here. I made two cards, three cards, and the envelope. Using all of these projects, use the designer series paper from the Celebration catalog that you can get for free when you spend $60. So if you're going on to my online store and you're looking at the catalogs, these are what you're looking for. These, This is the occasions catalog and the celebration one. So I'm just going to go around here. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for watching today. I really appreciate you guys. Look at the, that's the light coming from my blinds shining on my face. I got dots going right down. I'm perforated. Don't you just love that? <laughs> Sorry. It's Friday. We can be a little giddy, right? Right? <laughs> Oh, are you guys excited? It's the weekend. Yay. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for joining me. And if you have any questions about celebration, about that starter kit, which is the best deal on the whole entire planet <laughs> right now, in my opinion, and um, let me know and I'd be happy to answer all your questions. Thank you, Gina. And um, have a great weekend, everybody. And I will see you back next week. And um, yeah, take care. Bye-bye.